What's up, guys? Uh, I wanted to do a video about how styles make fights. See, a lot of people, they think, like, for example, you know, Manny Pacquiao and Marquez had two tough fights. First fight was a draw, and the second fight, Pacquiao won by a split decision. Now, they think that just because Marquez gave Pacquiao two tough fights, and then Floyd Mayweather came in and pretty much just shut down Marquez easily, that people think that Pacquiao wouldn't do no better than Marquez did. But you got to realize that Marquez, Pacquiao, and Floyd Mayweather, they have three completely different styles. And just because one fighter struggled against another fighter doesn't mean that the same fighter is going to struggle against the other fighter. Like, let me give you an example. Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier, they fought three times. And each fight was a war. And then George Foreman came along and destroyed Joe Frazier. And then Muhammad Ali challenged Joe, um, George Foreman. And people thought that Ali was crazy because George Foreman knocked out Joe Frazier and it was either the first or the second round. So they thought that Muhammad, Muhammad Ali didn't have a chance. But Muhammad Ali ended up beating George Foreman and shocked everybody. And this is almost kind of like a similar situation with Marquez, Pacquiao, and Mayweather. Yeah, Floyd Mayweather beat Marquez easily, but I'm going to explain why I think that Manny Pacquiao is going to be a challenge for Floyd Mayweather. And I'm going to talk about all three fighters and about the way they fight and what their strengths and weaknesses are. Now, let's take Marquez, for example. He is a counterpuncher, but the way Marquez fights... He likes the opponent to come straight to him. Marquez likes to fight at close range. So he wants the guy to be extremely close to him. Like if you look at um, Juan Diaz, he made the mistake of trying to slug it out with Marquez. And yeah, Juan Diaz did get some good shots in, but as we all saw, Marquez just broke him down and knocked him out in the eighth and ninth round. That's a perfect example of why Marquez is dangerous because he likes to fight at close range. That's how he lands his counter punches. When Marquez fought Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather didn't let Marquez get close to him at all. If you notice, he kept Marquez at a distance. He basically took Marquez out of his comfort zone because Marquez likes to get close to his opponent where he can land his counters. But Floyd Mayweather just kept Marquez away with the jab and he would leap in with that left hand and catch him with a straight right. And basically what Mayweather did was he forced Marquez to be the aggressive fighter, which is normally what he doesn't do. He doesn't like to be the aggressor. He doesn't want to come forward. He wants his opponents to come to him. And Mayweather just didn't let that happen. He basically just flipped the script on him, and he had Marquez exactly where he wanted him. Now, when Pacquiao fought Marquez, that was a younger, more inexperienced Pacquiao. And Pacquiao had made the same mistake that, you know, a lot of um, Marquez's recent opponents had made. You know, Pacquiao came straight forward, just like Michael Cassides and Juan Diaz. But Pacquiao was a different fighter now than he was when he fought Marquez. Pacquiao was just mainly a left-handed fighter when he fought Marquez. Now Pacquiao has a right hand that Marquez would have to watch out for if they was to fight again. Now, another thing about Pacquiao is he doesn't... The way he moves around the ring is a lot different than it was when he fought Marquez. He was just jumping forward and just brawling when he was younger, when he fought Marquez. But now Freddie Roach has got him using lateral movement now Jumping forward, jumping back, and going side to side. Now, Pacquiao, he's a aggressive fighter. He's not really known 
what counter punching he can do, but that's not his main weapon. His main weapon is combination punching and having a high punch output. He likes to throw a lot of punches and he likes to throw combinations. Now Pacquiao's weakness is he's still open for a jab and his defense still needs work. He still gets hit a lot. But he's not as reckless as he used to be. Freddie Roach has made him a much better fighter now than he was when he fought Marquez. And see, if Marquez was to fight Pacquiao now at welterweight, Marquez wouldn't stand a chance. Because Marquez looks slow as a welterweight. Marquez performs at his best at lightweight. That's his best weight. And if he fights Pacquiao now, not only will he be fighting a bigger, stronger Pacquiao, but he'll be fighting a Pacquiao that has a dangerous right hand. And if they fight again, it's not going to be a close fight. And I think Pacquiao can probably finish the fight. I think that I can see the referee stopping that fight after about six or seven rounds. Maybe even sooner than that. Now, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, he beat Marquez easily. You know, he shut him out. He won every single round. But Floyd Mayweather is a pure boxer. And he's very good at counter-punching as well. And he's very smart. He knows how to adapt. That's what makes him so dangerous. But if you notice, fighters that gave him trouble were fighters that put a lot of pressure on him. You see, Floyd likes to think when he fights. And basically, if you don't give Floyd time to think, he is vulnerable. I mean, look at Ricky Hatton. Ricky Hatton is just a brawler. He likes to come straight forward. He likes to be at close range. He doesn't box much at all. But when he fought Floyd Mayweather, it was a competitive fight. Now, Mayweather did break him down in the later rounds, but, you know, Ricky Hatton won some of those early rounds. It was competitive up until about the eighth round, and then Floyd pretty much started taken over after that and then ended up knocking him out in the 10th round. But that goes to show you that because of Floyd's pure boxing style, he's not used to fighting at extremely close range. Now, yeah, he does have great defense, but if but Floyd prefers to fight from a distance or one or two feet away from his opponent, he doesn't want his opponent to be right up on him, which is what Marquez likes. Marquez likes that close range fighting. And Pacquiao doesn't mind close range fighting either, but Floyd Mayweather, he doesn't like close range fighting. That's his weakness. He doesn't like to fight at the close range. And like I said, Marquez, Pacquiao, and Mayweather are completely different fighters. They perform well under different circumstances. And just because Floyd Mayweather beat Marquez doesn't mean that he's going to beat Pacquiao easily. And as a matter of fact, I think Pacquiao can beat Floyd Mayweather just because his style is like the, basically the opposite of Marquez. Marquez is a counter puncher, but he likes to fight at close range. Pacquiao is a more active, more aggressive fighter that can apply pressure, but has good boxing skills too, even though his defense still needs work. Well, and then you got Mayweather, who is the pure boxer, but he doesn't like the brawl. He doesn't like to be at that close range. And if Pacquiao and Mayweather fight, whoever can fight, whoever can force their opponent to fight their fight is who's going to win. So basically, it's going to come down to will Pacquiao be able to get inside and fight at that close range and keep Mayweather uncomfortable and not give him time to think. Or will Mayweather be able to keep Pacquiao at a distance and pot shot him? And that's basically what it comes down to. Styles make fights. Just because one fighter lost badly to another fighter doesn't mean that the other fighter is going to lose just as badly. And that's pretty much all I got to say about that. And if you like my video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.